Elgato has just released Virtual Stream Deck. And if you're not excited about it, let me tell you why you need to be excited about it. So first off, Virtual Stream Deck is just like Stream Deck XL, Stream Deck Mini, Stream Deck Mark II. Uh, but instead of being a physical device on your desk, it is more akin to virtual buttons on your screen. Now, I when they released the update for Android for the Android version of Stream Deck Mobile, I toyed with this idea of running it inside of BlueStacks and then putting that on your Wacom tablet so that you could then use your stylus to interact with your Stream Deck on there, which I thought was a really cool idea. Uh, the problem was is that it was a little clunky. If you really wanted something streamlined, you basically were stuck to one kind of row or column of uh, Stream Deck buttons. However, with Virtual Stream Deck, you can take that concept and do this. Now I'm running a, an app on my tablet called Super Display, but with Virtual Stream Deck now, I can have the Stream Deck, the Virtual Stream Deck, I can have this button over here and these buttons down here. And because of how you set it up, you can hide, you can set it up like this, hide these buttons, the empty keys, so that you're left with this and it just hugs around the canvas. And if you're in Photoshop, right, you can move your canvas around, it doesn't interfere. And you can either put Photoshop actions using the Photoshop plugin from the Elgato Marketplace, or if you're doing art streams, you can put your scenes here, you can do uh, soundboard, you can do basically whatever you want. All in all though, it's a friggin' cool update, 10 out of 10 Elgato, excellent work.